Okay, this is the MakerBot Digitizer. Um, it's basically a turntable with a webcam. And um, what it's used for is scanning 3D objects. So I'm going to put my object here. And then we'll look at the computer right here. And we can see it on the screen through the webcam. Wave my hand in front of it. Um, so the first thing it wants us to do is place the object on the turntable. I'm going to describe our object. This is so that it can um, adjust its exposure. We have a light object here. Check that the filter is over the camera lens. Um, so there is a little filter on the front of the camera that blocks out everything but red light. I'm going to put that over it, and we're going to start the scan. And what it's going to do is it's going to turn on a red laser. It's going to give us a laser line, and then it's going to rotate it. 360 degrees and slowly build a 3D model of that as it goes around. Um, goes around twice, four and a half minutes each time. And what it's doing, this is a strategy, strategy called structured light. From this angle, it looks like a straight line. But from the viewpoint of the webcam, you can start to see the ripples of the line. And so it can take those ripples and translate that into the surface of your model. It's a little easier to see now that we're to that section that has the, the deeper grooves. Notice that it's got the white um, powder on it. That is just cornstarch. Um, I spray models with cornstarch if they are clear, shiny, or particularly dark. Um, because the lines, if you look, as it gets to the patches where it's, the powder's not there, the line disappears. You can't see the laser line when it hits the glass. Or, worse, it gets deflected somewhere else, and that interferes with the scan. So as it comes around, you can see that where the glass is clear, it doesn't reflect the line at all. Um, so there's severe limitations to this kind of scanning um, to what kind of models can be scanned um, in their original form. Fortunately, it's relatively easy to spray some cornstarch on things and, um, and solve that problem. Notice it's also going to have some trouble with the interior dimension as well. Um, and a lot of 3D scanning has this problem.